Hello and welcome to the Listen to My Radio broadcasting tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to be taking a look at how to broadcast with the Winamp DSP plugin to a Shoutcast v2 server. Um, the first thing we need to point out are the differences between uh, Shoutcast 1 and Shoutcast 2. The two main differences are the broadcasting modes and DJ management. Um, to explain the broadcasting modes properly, we first need to explain uh, what we had in Shoutcast 1 and what we have in Shoutcast 2. In Shoutcast 1, you basically had two broadcasting modes. You could have Auto DJ enabled, and in that case, you uh, couldn't broadcast live until you disable Auto DJ by logging into a Centella cast and manually disabling it. And then you had the other mode, which me, uh, which was uh, live broadcasting only, where you would connect to the server, broadcast live, and then disconnect. And then if you wanted the uh, auto DJ to continue playing, you would have to manually log into Centola Cast to uh, to turn it on, so it would resume playing. Well, in Shoutcast Two, we have three broadcasting modes. We have uh, auto DJ only, live broadcasting only, and we have auto DJ with live broadcasting. Um, the Auto DJ with live broadcasting is actually very simple. You have Auto DJ enabled, and then when you start broadcasting live, it automatically stops playing, and your live broadcast is uh, tuned in. And then once you stop live broadcasting, Auto DJ uh, resumes playing. Um, to get this accomplished, uh, Auto DJ uses. Uh, two ports and that can lead to some confusion because uh, uh, out, uh, Shoutcast on only had um, one port so first thing you need to do is log into CentolaCast if uh, you don't know how to do that you should just follow the um, control panel link and use the username and password that you got from us when you signed up for your Shoutcast 2 package. Um, once you're in, in the control panel, click here uh, onto Quick Links under General and scroll down uh, to Live Source Connections. You'll right away see that there are two ports here. You have the Shoutcast V2 and the Shoutcast V1 port. Uh, the Shoutcast V1 port is here because not all software support uh, Shoutcast V2 yet. Not all software has been updated yet to support Shoutcast 2. But uh, Shoutcast 2 has backwards compatibility. compatibility. So if uh, you have an old software that you want to use that only supports Shoutcast 1, you can broadcast with it as well and you can make use of the of the uh, uh, DJ management and auto DJ on off. Uh, also important to note is that these two ports here, they only work when uh, auto DJ is enabled and running. If you uh, so, these are the um, the live broadcasting with auto DJ ports. If you want to live broadcast without DJ disabled, these ports, these ports won't work for you. You need to use the uh, ports found under Overview. So click on Overview under General here and see the Account Overview. The port here, this is the port that you need to use for live broadcasting only. So, if you just want to live broadcast, uh, use this port here. And uh, very important to note is, um, while you create DJ accounts for uh, for broadcasting, 
and they have their own username and password uh, and you use those when broadcasting to auto DJ I mean with auto DJ enabled uh, you have to use the source password like you did in shoutcast one for um, for a live broadcasting only to define the source password just go to settings just go to settings and uh, set it here then click on update and uh, restart the server to apply the change more, uh, more of this is discussed in the account overview in the account overview tutorial so if you haven't uh, you can look it up in our knowledge base um, Uh, if you don't have auto DJ enabled and don't know how to enable it, please check out our auto DJ tutorial uh, in our knowledge base. Now that we have explained differences, uh, the first thing we need to do to get started with broadcasting is download all the required software. Um, the first thing we need to do, which is the base of the player, is get Vinamp. You can get it by going to vinamp.com. Um, then you click on free download here and download the uh, vinamp standard version. Then just click on free download and it will start downloading. Once it's downloaded, just uh, start the installation. Click next, I agree. Next, um, next, next. Uh, you can disable all of these. And then just install them. Once the uh, installation is done, uncheck the launch winup after installer closes and click on finish. If you do uh, start winamp accidentally, just close it because uh, it has to be closed to install the next part. Once you have uh, finished installing winamp, go to shoutcast.com. and click on the broadcast now option in the menu and then scroll down to the bottom of the page at the bottom you will see the shoutcast dsp plugin for vnet click on download once the download is finished start the installation click next angry And click install. Once the install is finished, uh, just uh, by default uh, set the current DSP plugin and run Vinamp will be enabled by default and just click finish then. Uh, now Vinamp will ask you to select a skin. You will use the default new Bento skin. Um, I already have a player that does these so I'll disable these. Um, and click on finish. Now Vinamp will set itself up and the first thing we want to do is set up uh, Vinamp. I like to make the playlist here bigger so I click here this is your playlist where you will be adding files and the uh, files for playing on your station. Um, a lot of people get confused at this point because they can't see the DSP plugin. It's actually 
underneath the name. It's here. You can, uh, instead of dragging the window all the time, you can just click on the window shade mode here. And when you want to, and uh, you have the plugin here, when you want to resume using Winamp, just click here again and you'll see Winamp. Uh, the first thing we need to do now is uh, get the details for broadcasting. Uh, to do that, go back to CentovaCast and under General click on Quick Links. Then scroll down to FT, uh, sorry, Live Source Connections and there you will have most of the details you need. Um, Shoutcast, the Shoutcast plugin fully supports Shoutcast 2 and because of that we will be using this port here under Shoutcast V2. Um, but before we can do any of this we need to first create a DJ account. To do that, go to, um, under configuration, click on DJs. I already have an account here, but I'll delete it for... Um, okay, so now once you are in DJ management, on the right side here you can click on uh, create a DJ account and you will see uh, something like this. The first thing you need to enter is a username. You will be using this username in the uh, DJ user ID field here. Um, as explained earlier, this account can also be used to uh, log into CentavaCast and then the user of that account can do uh, different things depending on how many permissions you set. But let's go into it step by step. The first thing we need to do is set the username. You can set it to pretty much anything. In this case, I'll set it to tutorial. Um, also, the password. Uh, I'll just some, something here. And the real name. Uh, well, th this mo is mostly a label, so you know which account is which easily. If you have uh, unusual usernames, for example, you can set something that you can identify this account with here. We'll just enter a tutorial. You can enter whatever you want. Okay. Uh, status should be enabled by default if you want to use this account. Um, under privileges, you can set the permissions that this account will have. As you can see, uh, you can set the uh, various things. If you want to set all of the permissions, hold down shift shift key, select the first and the last uh, permission and it will select them all. If you just want to select one you can just click on it and it will be selected. If you want to select multiple permissions you can hold down the control key and then select multiple of them by clicking on them. In this case we want to enable all of the permissions so we will select all of them. Um, all of them. Under login restrictions you can set the um, time-based login restrictions. By default the account is enabled 24-7 but you can set it to various days. Um, allow from until showcases the daily hours from which the account is uh, allowed to log in. By default it's set from 2 a.m. to 2 a.m. which means uh, 24 hours a day. Okay. Once all of this is set, click on save and then restart the server to confirm the change. To restart the server, go to restart here under a server and click on it. Click OK and the server will restart itself. Okay, now that the server is restarted, uh, we can continue with the broadcasting software setup. Return to Quick Links, Live Source Connections, and get the server host name. Copy it, and go back to the DSP plugin. Um, very important when you are pasting these details in is that you don't paste a blank space in. If you do that, uh, you will have trouble with the connection 
and you won't be able to connect or where you will get various errors. If you do get uh, do have trouble connecting, the first thing you should try is manually typing in the IP port, user ID, and password. Uh, the you know enter the server address, which is the server host name or IP. Then we will enter the port. As said, because this software fully supports Shoutcast v2, we'll use the port located here. In our case, that's 8006 or 8006. The port. And then you set the username of the uh, DJ account that we just created. In our case, that's tutorial, as well as the password. Then proceed to the directory tab. And under directory, you can set the name and address of your radio's website. We'll set this name to tutorial example. Um, you don't really have to enter a, a website if you don't have one, but you can. This checkbox here determines whether your station will be listed on the uh, shoutcast.com uh, radio directory. In this directory. Um, if you want, you can either enable or disable this. Most of the users want it enabled, but you can also disable. Uh, the next step is setting up the encoder. Um, you can either broadcast in ACC or MP3, but uh, ACC is not as widely supported uh, as MP3, so if you don't have experience with online radios, we recommend that you use MP3 for now. Set the encoder type to MP3, and then uh, you need to set the bitrate. Uh, to get the maximum bitrate of your package, go back to Cintelacast, and you will see it here under maximum bitrate. Maximum bitrate. Um, in our case, that's 32 kilobits per second. Uh, so we'll choose uh, 32 here. Okay. Now that we've set up the bitrate and the encoder, you can also uh, have an option here to save or ar archive the stream. So everything you will stream to the server will be saved into a file. This can be useful if you do so things like uh, podcasts or um, you want to record your shows. If you want to do that, just enable this option here and click here to select a folder where you want to save it. Once you have set up the encoder, you can proceed to titles. You should you should leave this uh, at uh, at the defaults. Um, at the defaults, it will just send the name, album, and artist of your um, songs, and it will update them automatically. This is what most users want. If you want, you can uh, upload them manually, and then uh, once you have uh, enter them, you can click send update, but for most people that's very tedious to do and you can just use the defaults. Uh, under art artwork, you can send artwork with your stream um, and and uh, it will display uh, to the listener if his software supports artwork you can uh, uh, Use the send artwork from playing file option In this case, we will just disable it because we don't need artwork in this example um, Logs you mostly don't need to um, Do anything here, but if you experience some problems and you need to contact support you can uh, click enable logging here and then open a log file to 
get the messages that you will give to support. Um, once you have set up all of these, go to input. Um, you have two options here. You have uh, Vinamp, which will broadcast any songs you play in Vinamp, or you can set it to, uh, in my case, I don't have any, but you will have sound card input here. And when you select sound card, sound card input, um, you will uh, you can use your line in or microphone port on your computer to uh, broadcast your voice or some external device like a uh, mixing board or CD player. Um, you can usually choose the line in or whatever here under choose capture device. In my case, I don't have any, so I can't choose anything. Once you have, uh, for example, if you select the microphone, once you have selected all of these, both the um, line in, uh, some kind of sound card input here, and the microphone here. You can either push to talk uh, to hold, uh, and you hold this button while you're talking, or you can lock the button, um, which will just stream your voice until you do click on lock on again, which will disable it. Um, we'll re return this to Vinem for now. Once you have set up all of these, so login, directory, encoder, uh, titles, and input, uh, you can try connecting to the server. Click on connect. I'll first check if AutoDJ is enabled and running. Yes. By the way, you can check that by going here. This shows the server status, which is the green check mark shows that it's online. The auto DJ status and that uh, out, a source is connected. In this case, that's auto DJ. That means that everything is working. If you have auto DJ enabled, but it's not playing, uh, you won't be able to connect. It has to be enabled and playing. We'll now try connecting to the server. Click on connect under output and it's working. Uh, if it doesn't say sent here, something isn't working correctly and uh, you should try to find the problem. Usually uh, the status gives you some indication what the problem is. Um, now that we are connected to the server, we can try playing a song. Um, I have a file loaded here by default. To play a song, just double click on it. And the file will play. Uh, if you have multiple files, they'll play one after another. Uh, you have some options here like shuffle, which you can also use to make the songs random if you want. Uh, or you have a repeat. Uh, you can either repeat the playlist or the song. This little one indicates that only the song is being repeated. Um, uh, now that we are broadcasting, uh, we should uh, check if everything is working correctly. To do so, go back to CentovaCast, and on top here you will see the song name. In our case, this is the song I played. And uh, you can click on play here to see if, if your song is playing properly. In our case, it sure enough is. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, please see our knowledge base.